back again with another Former's Friday, and today we're taking a look at the Titans Returns Brawn figure. Not to be confused with the Titans Return Brawn Titan Master. They came with a little vehicle earlier, maybe a year or two before. This Brawn is a full-blown figure, like Wheelie and Wind Charger and the others. I think he's Legends class. Which means he's one of the smaller ones. Which is cool. I'm happy with that. I'm actually really happy to get Braun. Because there wasn't really a lot of love for Braun for some reason. And the funniest thing is... So this is Braun's Titan Master head. And we're going to take a look at his regular head later. But as a vehicle, he's pretty solid. This thing... Is it, yeah, this thing comes off. And he kind of turns into a, like a weird truck looking thing. Or maybe I'm just reading it wrong, I don't know, but it looks good as it is. And what I'd really like to see is if they just repaint him and give him a different head and call him Outback. I would not be opposed to that, that'd be awesome. But, it's a cool vehicle, nothing really excitable about it. So, let's go ahead and take a look at his robot mode. Okay guys, here is Braun in robot mode. His head actually turns in that little shell thing which I really like because there's enough of course his legs are not cooperating because there's enough of this back thing to harken back to the old action figure and character but his head still turns so that's something they really didn't have to do and I'm really happy for that and then the thing that was clipping off before you can use that as a shield but it'll also clip on on his back and that peg there so that's pretty cool now his joints are pretty stiff and solid, so he's pretty easy to stand and display in a variety of poses. And overall, he's just a really cool figure. I actually really recommend this figure. I love it a lot, and I'm really happy to own it. And it's just really cool to me. I don't know. I really don't know what else to say other than it's it's worth owning. And I just wish more of these figures came with guns, honestly. He did not, which is a bummer, but whatever. What are you going to do? But that's it for this week. Um, take a look if you want to see more fun reviews on toys, action figures, comic books, video games, all sorts of fun stuff. Check out the popculturenetwork.com or their YouTube page. Uh, you can find Doug Turner's page, too. He does a lot of that stuff. You can find us on Instagram, Twitter. Maybe not Instagram, but Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube, obviously. Uh, we have a 24-hour hotline. You should be able to see that scrolling somewhere. And if you want to see more of what I do personally, uh, you can find me on the Geeks Reviews on YouTube. So please check out all that stuff. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. So that's it for me this week. So until next time, this is the Geek for the Pop Culture Network saying good journey.